Good morning, everyone, and uh, especially thanks for having a time with Gaston Beer. And today I will present people and tips uh, for Parkinson's endoscopic lumbar disectomy. We are we all we know the endoscopic surgery is an endoscope, so we have to maintain. The visual field is essential, and then we can do every procedure uh, under clear visualization. It's essential, so we can avoid the neural tissue damage. We can avoid any complication. So this is one of the tip of people. So my recommendation is uh, you have to do. And the local anesthesia. If you do the general anesthesia, you may injure the neural tissue. The, the historical background, and still many doctor they they do not believe the efficiency of this procedure. Uh, still, so the doctor written he did a good job. He did a randomized control study and published endoscope surgery compared to the com conventional microsurgery. Same clinical result, but less complication and then the early recover. So same recurrence rate, short operation time, no blood. Technically, the advantage is good. And finally, they conclude it's a cost effectiveness because of a short operating time, rapid rehabilitation, or low post operative cost of case. Dr. Sangori, they compared the PLD and microscopic open disectomy. Also, they are more focused on the radiology finding, the same clinical outcome, less complication, similar rate of recurrence. So less invasive, and it's also cost effectiveness. So, but this uh, technique is actually very difficult. So is there a reproducible result for any spine endoscopy surgeon? My answer is no. It is quite surgeon dependent procedure. It's a very much demanding procedure. So that's why we are here. And uh, my one of the recommendations is uh, all we need the training and practice, practice about what we know, what we don't know about. So in our hospital in Korea, we already did a, a didactic course, including live surgery and uh, many cases of uh, uh, live surgery and uh, didactic workshop teaching the lecture, as well as the fresh Cardiva workshop. It was done very successfully. And the second will be done in the coming this July. That's the same. So we more focus on the training for this young surgeon or the spine doctor to be a experienced doctor. And then they can do very efficiently. So lumbar disc, the first, this the skin entry point is very, very important because the, this scope is a rigid scope and the entrance is only the transforaminal or interlaminal. So this apple, but it can be a disc material. If it is on my work disc condition, we have to make a skin entry point quite below. For the down migrate disc, the skin entry point should be different. So um, you have to decide before the surgery with uh, imaging. This strategy is very important to successful the surgery. And as well as interlaminal approach also on migrate the downward is quite different, quite different. So think before the surgery, you have to make a 
good strategy for successful surgery. But sometimes there can be some of the obstacle. It's like a high iliac crest, like then. And then we may make a small hole through the iliac. Or we may enlarge the foramen, and then we can reach the target. It's a foraminoplastic approach. This is a transiliac approach. Transforminal approach is uh, most uh, common we do, but there is a two things. Very important thing is the exiting route to injury. So think three-dimensionally, the exiting route, where is the angle of uh, approach? If your angle is too horizontal, you may injure the exiting route, as you see in this one. So during the procedure, my procedure, my experience, during the procedure, if I insert the dilator, if the patient complain the pain, but it's uh, maybe forward root symptom or etc. Et 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 if it, is, it uh, seems to be axing root, I change the skin entry point a little medially because I want to avoid the axing root because I know where axing root is. So you'd better to do on the local anesthesia and then you can avoid. This is the most common complication during the, this procedure. Especially if the herniation is extra foraminal disc herniation, it's just below the exiting road. So if we go horizontally, you cannot see this one. We cannot bend. So in that case, you have to go more almost straight very close to the midline, and then you can see the ex extra foraminal disconnection safely. So you have to know this one. The um, external root injury is most common cause of a complication of this surgery. So this is the extra foraminal cases I did, pre-op and post-operatively you, you can see the this is a pre-op, this immediate post. They can discharge, go home, same day or the next day. This is Omar with this at L45, but he has a, a, a high iliac crest to remove the unmigrated discognition. Our screen entry point should be cold out, but there is an iliac crest. It's kind of a strategy make a small hole through the 18 gauge needle and dilate the ileum, and you can do the removal of a foraminal disc, ruptured umbilical disc, it was published in the spine. For the down migrated disc um, it's the same as uh, we cannot bend the, uh, our skull, but we can make a, uh, large room, we can remove some of the part of the uh, pedicle or some part of the uh, superior facet, and then we can go directly, remove this one. This is a video. I made the cranial to colder direction screen entry point, and by using endoscopic drill, this is cranial, it's coda, it's ventral, doda. This is superior facet ventral surface. This is the disc space. This is the pedicle. And then we can see some of the ligament flabum and by using side filing laser, removal of ligament flabum. And then finally we can take out the ruptured blue stain on the clear visualization. We can see the nerve root. The patient is a local anesthesia. It's very safe, very safe. And finally, we can see the free of the nerve root there. And the edge of the epidural fat, the post-operative. 
intraluminal protein. Uh, I do usually the split the ligament flavum. It means I can make the patient be a normal. Normal means normal ligament flavum, normal epidural fat, normal muscle, and normal skin almost. So after removal of disc, we can see the free of a number root, as well as maintain preservation of epidural fat. The ligament flavum is closing. So this is a minimal image. We have to preserve all the disc, all the muscle and ligament structure. Another complication, uh, if you may experience or not, uh, during the procedure, the patient may uh, experience the neck pain. It's quite, quite dangerous state. We measure the epidural pressure through the catheter during the lumbar scope. So we check the epidural pressure, the cervical, during the lumbar procedure. And then we finally found the neck pain group or non-neck pain group is quite different, the pressure. So our suggestion is if the, during the procedure, this is a preoperative MRI, this is a just immediate post-operative MRI. Can, if you look at this view, the dura sac is squeezed, compressed. The outside epidural is filled with the water. So it's a squeezing effect. As we know, the two-thirds of a CSF is in the spinal canal. So if we squeeze, it may increase the intracranial pressure. This is pretty uh, immediate post-operatively, the duration is uh, squeezed, but one day after, it will be normal. So during the patient complain the neck pain, you should stop. And we also have uh, five cases experience the generalized tonic-clonic seizure patient. One patient is status of epilepticus, he almost a five hour continuously seizure. Uh, so I reported this one. As well as um, we will focus on the uh, training course. So um, I recommend you to be a good endoscopic surgeon. You should attend many uh, endoscopic course for the cardiac workshop or some of surgery. Future it's, uh, definitely will be very, very extended, especially spinal stenosis cases, because uh, nowadays the dural system is very uh, much developed. It will be developed more. So spinal stenosis is uh, next our main uh, indication that Sangori will be present and we can percutase artificial disc replacement or cell therapy. I would like to invite all of you to this uh, Antalya, this November Asian Congress. Thank you for your kind attention.